My third and final draping procedure is going to be for the facial shave. Now the facial shave is a little different because our client is going to have to recline. Their head is going to have to, oh, this is one that doesn't lift up. That's okay. Right. Our head is going to have to touch the headrest cover. So we have to make sure that our client has a clean surface on the back of his chair when he leans his head back. So I'm going to tuck a paper towel over the headrest. Now this headrest on this chair does not lift up. So I'm just going to keep it tucked under, but make sure that he has a clean surface for his head to lie on. So I have my headrest cover set. Now the same thing as I did on my shampoo technique, I'm going to take my two triangle folds. So I'm going to drop one corner, get those two triangles, go around my client's head, moving forward. I'm going to lightly tuck one corner of these. I'm not tying it, I'm just lightly tucking it. And then what I like to do is I'm going to pump my chair up to a comfortable height. Now for me, I'm a little taller, so I'm gonna elevate the chair as high as possible because we are gonna recline our client back all the way. And if it's too low, I'm gonna be hunched over and it's gonna be uncomfortable for me. So once the chair cannot move up anymore, I'm going to lock it in place by kicking that foot pedal up indicates that the chair cannot move. If the chair is moving in the state board examiner, if they come around and they can move the chair while you're working with the straight razor, you will fail. So you have to make sure the chair is locked, not just for the state board exam, but in general, because you're holding a sharp implement that if God forbid the chair does move, you could hurt them or hurt yourself. So the chair is locked. Now what I like to do, I'm gonna put my barber cape on, but I'm not going to clip it. So my barber cape is going to open up Again, with the tag facing the inside of his body. It's going to lay over the towels, but I'm not gonna clip the back. I'm going to hold it in place. I'm gonna guide my client backward. After my client is reclined comfortably on the headrest cover, I'm going to adjust my cape so that it lays over his shoulders, but again, not making contact with his skin. Now, my first towel that I'm going to do after I recline my client is the one over the chest. I'm going to tuck one corner in, again between the collar of the cape and the towel that I have around his neck. The second towel is another two triangle full towel, but this time the two triangles are going to go inward towards his face. And then I'm going to tuck and adjust the towels around his neck between his skin and the collar of the cape to assure that his skin is gonna make no contact with any part of my barbering cape that I've used. And then I'm going to bring the middle of the towels or the front of it down to expose his Adam's apple or his neck. Cause that is another area that we're gonna to have to use for the shave. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Perfect. Now my last towel that I'm going to do is my wipe towel for my blade. I'm going to hold the towel long ways. I'm going to fold it once and then twice. So that I have it long ways like this. I'm gonna lay this over his right shoulder. We are working on the right side of the chair. So I have to have a wipe towel on the right side. So after I'm done shaving each plane of the face, I can wipe my blade on a clean surface each time. Once I maximize the usage of this side of the towel, I'm going to flip it over. Then this indicates that my towel is the right way because the flap should flip towards his face. I can wipe my blade here or here, flip the towel over once more. I have more surfaces to wipe my blade. If I put the towel on incorrectly and the flaps go to the floor or towards my body, the shaving cream or the hair or anything else that I wipe off my client's face after I do each plane. Once I flip this towel, if it is incorrect, that stuff can fall onto the floor and that can create an unsafe surface for us to step on. So you wanna make sure that the towel is facing the correct direction that it flips towards our client's face each time. And the same thing like we did when we were doing the shampoo. Once we are done, the last towel that was put on my client's body is the first one we take off and vice versa the entire way down. So I'm going to take my towel that I have for my wipe. I'm going to fold it within itself to keep all the contaminants inside so I'm not touching them. And I'm gonna put those on the right side of my counter. I'm going to take off my two triangle fold Fold it once, fold it twice, and then I'm going to put that on the right side as well. And I'm gonna continue this process with all the towels and the capes. The last thing that you put on your client is the first thing you take off, you go in that order to make sure you're taking everything off in the correct way.
and then you fold it up nice and neat. And one says, touch your client's body or torso. That goes on the right side of your counter. It indicates that it's contaminated or it was used. So there's no confusion between your clean and unused materials versus your used materials.